What is an angle? Well, let's start with a line and just cut it really anywhere you want. Let's call this point V. So then this part of the line that's extending towards the right is called a ray. Now if I take this ray and add a second one coming from that same point, again we'll call that V, I can identify an angle from that first ray to that second ray. This first ray is called the initial side of the angle, and the second one is called, where it ends, the terminal side. Now this angle has a direction that's moving in a counterclockwise manner, so this is considered some angle that's positive. Let me just call it this Greek letter theta. Now from this initial side to the terminal side, we could actually go a different way. Uh, let's say I went clockwise instead. So going from the initial side to the terminal side, this could be considered a different angle. Let me use a Greek letter this is called beta. Use a second angle, still starting from that initial side. And I'm going to go all the way around and then end at the terminal side. That's also an angle. Let's call that gamma. So from the initial side to the terminal side, there's actually many ways to define an angle. So what we're going to do is use what's called the standard position of an angle. And the way that this is defined is by having the initial side being the positive x-axis. And then the V point, we're going to call that the vertex, is going to be the origin. So where those two rays met, this is called the vertex, we're going to use the origin. So then the initial side, the positive x-axis. So then the terminal side really can be anywhere. And again, the angle can be found by going from the initial to the terminal directly. We can go the other way. We can go around and around and around. But just understand that going counterclockwise, this would be a positive angle. And if I were to go the other way, this would be a negative angle.